Yes, exactly. exactly. So, Bayer Dynami is only into the vineyard. So, there are no biodynamic wines. Okay, they are biodynamic grapes. Biodynamic is all in the vineyard, not in the cellar. Then, uh, natural, so from biodynamic wines, uh, grapes, excuse me, <laughs> lapsus, from biodynamic grapes, you can make natural wine, artisanal wine, or you can make industrial wines. You can use all the tricks of modern technology from biodynamic grapes to make industrial wines. So there are industrial biodynamic wines, definitely. And then, on the opposite side, you can have so-called natural wine that are made from industrial grapes. Because behind natural wines, we think no additives, uh, low profile enology, uh, but tons of people, especially these days, are making like no sulfur, no yeasted, industrial wines from industrial grapes. So this is all confusing and I think people should be very careful about uh, what the words are used for and just I just want to remind people that there are two ways of growing grapes conventional and unconventional biodynamic could be part of that or permaculture unconventional means that you pay attention especially to the soil and you produce grapes without using tons of fossil resource okay something like this and then there are two ways of making wine one way that is a design process where you can use tons of things that were designed to produce something specific into wine. This is what I would call conventional winemaking. And another way to, uh, to make wine, that is to believe that nature has everything in it to make wine and that you just leave nature, do things, but you monitor it and if something goes wrong, then you can interfere or make an intervention so the wine is not going to be vinegar. So, two ways of growing grapes, two ways of making wine, and all the combinations are possible. And we should find good words to describe all the combinations, and so far, um, there are no standard way of uh, speaking about that. Should we